fitted the tow bar and I put the basics of the electrics in and I've had a lot of questions about how you wire these up and uh, I thought I'd make this video that shows how you wire a very basic tow bar wiring system into the old-fashioned not the more modern CAN bus type uh, of uh, electrical system now for most vehicles there's sort of three ways you can do this the best way is to buy the uh, manufacturer's kit that will plug in somewhere in the wiring and hopefully they'll tell you where that was I can't find the socket on this but uh, I'm sure there will be one the second way is to actually splice it in using the wiring diagram to the wires somewhere where you can find them within the vehicle so that they're attached to this now this way is where you haven't got a proper wiring diagram and for this vehicle I find lots of different ones so I'm really not sure what colours the wires should be so what I'm going to do is work out which wires I need to connect to by actually looking in the back of the light and working out which wire lights which white uh, which wire lights which light now all I'm going to do then is scotch lock the wires in and scotch lock the uh, it's a little beeper so that when you're indicating you know that the indicators are actually working so if this is of use to you which I think it might be for a lot of people it doesn't matter whether it's a van like this or a car or whatever this should really help for you to be able to work out what wire goes where for your tow bar electrics I've got to run a wire from the passenger side indicator so what I need to do is take out the cluster and I'll have a look from there if you've got built-in cabinets and things you may have a struggle getting to the actual bits that release it need a pair of pliers need to run a wire from the tail light and from the indicator on the side where you're not wiring the actual lighting system to. The way that these work is that these are actually the electrical connector wires that connect to the wires at the top. You can see where they each go through to the top. So this big one going down to all of them is obviously the earth. So what I need to do is just confirm to myself it's a bit rusty, I've cleaned that up before I put it back together that this one for the indicator is the second one in which is grey with an orange stripe so I'm going to connect to grey with an orange stripe now what I'll do is when I've connected that wire I will confirm it with a test light just to make sure I don't want to put everything back and find out I really did the wrong thing but I'm pretty sure this will work out fine I get wire by buying 7 core or something like that which is for trailers, hookups and such like you can buy it by the meter and then you get 7 different colours it's a nice easy way of getting a variety of colours to use in reasonable lengths if you're doing some wiring on your car so I'll put that in the description you might want to buy some of that it, it is really handy so what I'm going to use is a sc scotch lock so I know it's this one. Oh, worth mentioning I crawled underneath found a hole pushed it through found it pulled it through I always find it best to route the wire at this end before you've connected it. It saves you a lot of faffing around trying to pull, pull loads of wire through. So I'm going to use a scotch lock. So this is the wire. So you put your new wire through, a pair of pliers, and very gently squeeze it short.
Right. Now you can check your old wire, make sure it's not coming out at either end. Seems fine. Looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is check that this wire is actually picking up the indicator when it's actually firing. So what I've done is I've put the four-way flashes on. I've connected a test light. Oh yeah, that shows the wire's definitely passing the indicator signal through. Um, the tail light, if I earth this end, we can see that the tail light's on that one, which is blue and brown. Check that, yeah, blue and brown. And the indicator is on grey and orange grey and orange. Press the brake light. Put the brake light off. Indicate right. So that one is the indicator. Turn the indicators off. Press the brake light. So the brake light is that one. Let the brake light off. Put the lights on. So that's the lights. So the lights there, brake there. Whenever I can, I always use these solder links because they work much better than anything else I've ever come across to actually join two ends of wires together. Much better if you've got something that doesn't burn it, but tends to work a treat. That's all the wires connected together now. Now that one is a reverse light. And the reason it's been joined in the past is it must have had reversing sensors. And obviously I'm gonna cover that over. And what I'm gonna do is bunch all that together and cover it with loom tape. Put the uh, light clusters back on and then test it. So just make the tidy, nice tidy wiring and let's hope that everything that should appear at the tow bar socket actually does. Tidy all the wiring up with loom tape. What I try to do is make sure the tape is pulling the joins together even though the joins should be able to cope with tension. Makes it look a lot smarter, stops it bobbing about and banging and clanging and uh, stops the wires pulling apart unless you put some real severe strain on them. So I always think it makes it look nicer with loom tape around it. To test it I go through all the different lights and there's a diagram that tells you which these ones are. Uh, I happen to know that's the tail light and that's the tail light. The rest of them shouldn't be on. I'll go and put the fog light on and then that one should start working. So now with the fog lights on, that one's on. I'll go and flick the left indicator on. The left indicator is this top one. And you can hear the audible arms going as well. right indicator is the one at the bottom and as you can see none of the others are on at the same time so it's definitely the right one it's the only one I need to check now is the brake light and then the job is a good one I'll put a good write-up of this and uh, I'll put copies of the diagrams for pin lays at layout and such like I'll add them onto our blog if you want to have a look on Spanner Ash. If you found this useful though, do give us a positive comment. Please don't be too critical of my scotch locks. I'm not very good with them, but I did get them all to work. Thanks for watching anyway.